Hey guys, it's Shaku TG, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys all my best tips to help you improve at Rainbow Six Siege. Before this video continues though, I have a bit of an announcement to make. But before we get into that, 60.5% of you watching this video right now aren't subscribed to the channel. If you enjoy daily Rainbow Six Siege content consisting of everything from tips and tricks to gameplay videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. Anyways though, on to my little announcement. So I'm super happy to announce that I'll be starting a podcast with my friends A21 Mayo and Vexian. We're calling it the Post Plant Podcast. If you'd like to tune in, we're having our first episode today at 1pm East over on my Twitch channel, which I'll have linked below in the description. I'll also link our new YouTube channel, which we'll be posting full episodes to, as well as short clips of just the highlights. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check out the description for those links. Alright, so in today's video, I want to go over everything I've learned over the years playing Siege and try to help you improve. I'm going to go over everything from common misconceptions to simple things you need to practice in order to improve. I highly suggest you watch this video until the very end as every one of these tips will provide you with a lot of valuable information. Alright, so on to the first and possibly most important thing I want to talk about today, and that's the misconception that individual stats and your rank equals your individual skill level. So many people when trying to get better, they think of improving their rank and their KD and not so much their actual skill. Everyone has to realize that Siege is a team based game, so your rank is determined by how well your team plays in ranked. It doesn't matter if you're a 5 stack or not, you're still mostly always with 4 other teammates on your team in ranked. So if you get unlucky with those 4 players or you guys just aren't having a great day, it can have a drastic effect on your rank. This is something that people really don't take into consideration. Your rank is not an indicator of skill, it's an indicator of your team's capability to play together. So as I said before, Siege is very much a team based game, so when people insult someone based off of what their rank or KD is, it's actually like the cringiest thing ever. And 99% of the time I hear someone insult someone else based upon their rank, I know that they're a bad player. Oh to give you a great example of what I mean, just look at my main account versus my alt account. You tell me which one you think I 5 stack on, and which one I solo queue on. So to end my rant, while trying to improve, think about what you need to do as an individual to get better, and not ways to improve your rank or KD. So onto my second tip, I think it's very important to understand that you don't need to play well every day, all day, to be a good player. Everyone has off days, even me and all of your other favorite pro league players and content creators. Every one of us is human, and we aren't going to perform the best that we can 100% of the time. This is another thing that I see less just go players using as insults to other players and it's super cringe. Confidence is key when trying to perform well so if you have a bad day you can often lose that confidence and continue to play worse and worse. It's just important to realize what's going on and try to fix it the best that you can. Never get down on yourself too much about not playing well or you'll make it even worse for yourself. Trust me I've been there many many times. Next up is to make goals and I know that I've said this in other videos but I feel like people really don't take me serious when I say this. Every time you load up the game you should have a mental note for what you want to practice that day. Lately for me I've been trying to practice doing 180s or 360s and still having a good crosshair placement when I'm done doing the movement. Mastering my movement and bettering my mechanical skill is a primary focus for me right now and I've been telling myself that every single day when I load up the game. Even if you have to write something down then do that, whatever it takes for you to actually go in with a plan and the mindset to improve. And for my fourth tip of the video, be sure to like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. But all jokes aside, start taking responsibility when you make mistakes or whenever you die. Even if you swear you headshotted that guy and there's no possible way that you missed him, just say out loud that, hey, I missed him, I need to work on my crosshair placement. If you watch my streams, you know that this is something that I actually do, so I'm not just saying this. Take responsibility and own up for your mistakes and you'll automatically calm down and you won't get so mad. At least this has been working for me. It's also better for your teammates, so instead of complaining that you definitely headshotted that guy and that the game is trash, you can instead give the call out and maybe win that round instead. This could even be one of your goals for my previous tip. Whatever works, right? Next up, practice, practice, practice. You'll never get better by saying you'll get better. You need to actually get in there and do it. This is something that I know a lot of people struggle with, but it's very important to actually practice what you're learning here on YouTube or wherever else. And you need to do it often and consistently if possible. I understand that everyone has jobs, school, or whatever else going on in their lives, but if you're serious about improving and you have time to make it this far into my YouTube video, then you have a few extra minutes to practice in-game. Next up, make sure you don't overdo it. If you're like me, you'll sometimes grind a little bit too hard and end up burning yourself out. So I struggle with this myself sometimes, and it's actually why I'm making so many of these types of videos. Not only can I help you guys improve, but I can also step away from the game for once and not have to worry about getting so many clips for all these gameplay videos since I post daily. But anyways, you need to try to find a good medium between not playing enough and playing too much. This is very important because if you overdo it like I did recently, you may be in a slump for a long time. I've been in my slump currently for around a month now, and nothing I did in-game could help me play better. That was until I took a 
take a little vacation and completely stop getting on my PC for almost a week. All I needed was some time away and I'm already playing a bit better. So that's why I say it's very important to find at that happy medium. But for my last tip of the video, just make sure to have fun. At the end of the day, Siege is the video game and it's meant to be fun. If you aren't having fun playing, then you aren't going to play well and you need a little break from the game. As I just said, that can happen with me. So taking a little bit of break is always so nice and helps me out so much. That's all I have for you guys today though. Like I said earlier, I'm likely streaming on Twitch right now and the podcast will be starting soon. So be sure to click on that link down in the description to check that out. Anyways though, I hope you all enjoyed the video and thank you so much for not only watching, but making it to the end. Hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you during the podcast. I'm just almost got me killed. I'm gonna be real with you. Oh my god, I just did this to him. Wow, I really did not have to do that. This 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 was nasty. Drop, Crispy, drop. He was blowing me up, man. How did I even kill him? Where is he? Bro? You located a bomb. Whoa! My aim is so bad, dude. I haven't used the SMG 11 in a hot minute, so I'm not like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not good with it right now. I'm so mad. I could have got two kills there, but I and unfortunately, unfortunately, I was shipped the wrong one and then a broken one. So that's the reasoning behind that. I've never. Oh, how are you gonna wait? Can you cheat? Can you cheat? Can you cheat? Can you cheat? Avex, there's one for Avex, there's one for Avex, there's one for.